Okay. Stream is up. Here's a beloved tomboyish girl. Okay, let's see here. What is up? Welcome to one and all. <laughs> oh yeah, you can collect weather crystals now. Forgot to mention. How many? <laughs> gotta gotta collect those weather crystals, dude. Hey, you can add a Toho to Komabot, dude. <laughs> Soon. Also, there are new sub emotes. Let's see here, I'll show them off. Uh, there's Tesser uh, Faith, which is now tier 1. You have a uh, Tesser uh, Shame. Uh, Tesser. Can't play. <laughs> And a uh, Tesser uh, Coma. No more Tesser Gachi. That one has been decommissioned. <laughs> When will I see Bracket? Right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, 15 players. That's good. I like 15. If only we had 16, that would be an even better number. This is going to be a huge mess to seed. Who is no namer?
Okay, okay, that's it. We're done seeding. Real tournament hours. Oh, is that Dragon? What's up? You actually I showed mean, up. I mean, you said it, you said it, right? Yeah, I said it. I had to comment it. Well, you didn't have to, but... I was coerced into commentating today. No, you just wanted to. <laughs> Did you know that you're his Sotin's like, second favorite commentator, dude? You gotta... You gotta show up. I mean... I guess I heard from time to time, but... I guess we don't really have a lot of commentators to begin with. Yeah. Or do we? I don't know. People were talking in the chat today. They said that me and Blaze was the best duo. Okay, so I'm just about done seeding, so I'm gonna hit start on the tournament. All right. Um, I guess I'll take the PMs as well, cause you usually give me your IP right, so I can just connect by relay or something. Yeah, you already have it, unless you need it again. <laughs> nah, I have it. Yeah. Um, open up my Duhu folder. Open up that Boku. And that's it, uh, tournament player, uh, be good. Okay, I might have to restart the game real quick. So we ended up with 13 players this tournament, right? 15. Not a lot, but all 15, I see. We did start an hour late, so kind of worse for a lot of players, but... Wasn't there also like two tournaments today? I don't know. Yeah, the beginner tournament is on right now. Uh, is there another one? Or is yeah, it, it's still on. Beginner? Yeah, it's just the beginner tournament. It's okay. all beginners collider or whatever. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I I don't know. I think I think we've definitely gotten a lot more tournaments recently. But I mean. I think it's probably because, you know, they're also being held in other servers. So it's not like it's happening here. Yeah, so. so. Doku is spreading, so, I mean, that's more people, more places to play. Yeah, but I, I'm kind of surprised at the amount of people that want to host Soku tournaments instead of actually playing them. Like, <laughs> 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 usually, usually for, for games this size, there's a lot more players than there are tourney organizers. So this game just has a lot of them. Like, I don't know, I think it's kind of balanced, it's just that, you know, there's more than there used to of both. And you could see tournament organizers more, obviously. Let's see. Let's uh, look at Azu versus Nunane, right? Okay, so... Oh, shit. Korea versus Malaysia Philippines? slash Indonesia. Indonesia? Besides, slash okay, he's Vietnam. Okay, Philippines, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's right. Oh, they're playing mirrors. Here you go. Yeah, you can join my relay now. Okay. I know Azul has been practicing the equal for a bit. Oh, um, isn't that his main? No, I'm pretty sure his main is Marissa. I thought it was actually uh, Romilia. I mean, remember the board of duel? He played Romilia and Yuko against. Um... I can't believe you've let a sub player play in board of duel, man. I mean, he's a duel main or something. He played both. <laughs> he won games with both player with both characters. So that's like me saying I'm a Komachi sub main. I mean, Brood won, so maybe that means <laughs> playing one character is actually the way to go. It takes a lot of effort to actually be a dual man, I think. Yeah, that's why a lot of people don't do it. Right now, I, I don't feel like any top player, at least in the world. At least in the world! <laughs> at least in the world? Is there another world out there? <laughs> You're like, at least in this world. <laughs> yeah, at least in this world. Oh crap, that's, that's even the same. Well, it has like a really good dual man that they can pull up for maybe counter picks or something. I Wait, was thinking, it, man, if I practice the button check or the but, game? Uh, it's definitely a button okay, check. Okay, that's button check. That, that yeah. was a kind of, that was a long ass button check. You know, for this game being a sort of funnies game that people say it is, there's not, there's not a lot of, like, people accepting each other's 
Stop mains, honestly. I feel like this is not esports yet, but might happen someday. Setting out the B bullet. This I don't know how this match feels, honestly. But um, I mean, you've never seen a Yuko here. I feel like no, they must really. play this all the time in uh, Japan, land of the Yuko, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'd have a lot more to say about top level Yuko play. Not the sub main. <laughs> sub main. <laughs> is Lunani not a Yuko main? No, she, she has no main. He has no main. Really? He just plays everything? Yeah, I guess you could say IS the strongest character. Yeah, I always thought it was uh, an IM main too. Yeah. Wow, respect on the 6 6 day right there. Yeah, but now Lunani is running, um. Oh, what are you gonna call it? What is that thing called? Um. Not Dragon Star. Dragon Rod? Oh, Control Rod? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Rod. Wow, that um, card's so weird that we all forgot what it was called. <laughs> it actually... I think I think Control Rod might be useful in a certain deck for Yuko. I mean, Yuko already does a lot of damage. Does she really need to do more? No, like, like she she does like... She does like 4k uh, with the ult 2 and 4. Using one Dragon Rod. Or using two. But at that point, like it's, it's just, like, it's, just so day -to -day, it's just day to day, it's just day to day, two and four all day to day, and that shit did 4k. <laughs> oh, he didn't even try to try to backdash that. He just was like, I'm gonna get that crush in Sun Shower, but he didn't get it. Yeah, that had to be closer. Oh, wow, super, super hitbox crushing. You know, you can just hit 3A after blocking that uh, 63. She'll go under the 60 because the hitbox of that move is so low. After, after, after what? The 60 and the 63 that Yuko likes uh. to do. That's kind of hard to punish sometimes. Okay. Isn't the 3 a bit slow for that? Good enough. Uh, the cool. recovery on 63, 63 is like minus one, a million. It's actually kind of bad. Mm. Both using fear for Yeah. Um, you're not gonna get uh, reaction setup with Bloom against the Eco, but uh, at least you can still read. But you yeah. do need the right setups. So we're gonna go. Smashing by that happens, dude. yeah. <laughs> right now we're just playing Smash. <laughs> Smash players don't know how to block. <laughs> Blocking doesn't exist in Smash. It's just how it is, you know. Like you block for more than five seconds and your guard gets broken. Like yeah. automatically. <laughs> yeah, you just, you're not allowed to block. <laughs> In this game, you keep on blocking the bullet does spirit damage. I think that's a better system than just if you block too long, you just get guards broken. Oh, this? That's gonna be fucking block. We're we gonna get Hoki B me. Nope. Yeah, if you neutral tech with Yuko and she sets up Spear Bloom, you actually get a burst because his recover is so long. If he gets up so you, fast. Yeah, you do need a right setup for Yuko. You need um, you need something like a land cancel Spear Bloom. Or some sort of, I guess, J6A Ender. Yeah, that's going to be the first game. Yep, as you takes it. True Yuko <laughs> right here. I just think it's funny. It's a funny way to say it, Shinki. Okizimi. Okizeme. <laughs> the Okizumi? That's, that's what they say, yo. Okizumers. <laughs> Only the Zoomers do Okizeme. I said that before. Stinky calling you out. He doesn't really know <laughs> Japanese, you see, it's a lie. <laughs> wow. Well, I never, I never said I did anyway. I just said I studied it. Oh, oh my god. I studied Spanish that, but... for like... Six years. I know Spanish, sort of. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening here, honestly. It's pretty even right now. The view's got yeah. the corner, but here comes Zanane. The bomb down here. here. Bomb? Yep. Oh, it's Typhoon. Man. Somebody gotta die. Wait, maybe Azu can live. He's getting away. He's escaping because the other side of the screen. It's still hard to yeah, escape yeah. Yukon Typhoon. Yeah, that's true. Those moves hit everywhere. Um, there is a way that you can do it because J6A hits like... Doesn't hit people crouching quite often. But it's really hard. Oh, you need to... Yeah, you need to level your... up your spacing. 
use that low hurt box on the crouch to get under that. Yeah. There was ways to escape, but way too damn hard. I think he needs right to be too. Yeah, like there he could have set up Spear Bloom uh, on that land cancel, but. Or the five to lead either. anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You see the five star to Munane's hand? Is he gonna go for it? Uh, that's a reversal, right? That's a very slow reversal, but it also is. Um, you can do a lot of damage with a 4 2 1 into a mm. 5 card setup. Because you can't be the 4 2 1 once you start blocking it. Oh, that's fine. Or not. Plus frames. Yep. Yeah. 4 card is plus frames, 2 card is not. That's kind of hard to notice because they look exactly the same, but. <laughs> Adding plus frames on a on a card that costs more is kind of weird, honestly. I mean, you're spending more meter. You deserve the plus frames. Yeah, oh, but it's, that you know, yeah, no combo. It's not something that like is universal for for Soko at least. Usually, cards that cost less are more plus and block time. Right? I guess. See, because it's random to go backwards. Okay. Safe. That's not plus. Two. Oh, you respect it. No, no, it, that one is plus. It's the blue wisp that's not plus. I thought it depends on the spacing, how far they away that uh, two card is. Oh, nice jump A day by us uh, right there. Well, if someone plays this gorilla character, maybe they know. One card. Plus frames. I know it's definitely not plus with the blue wisp. Not in any relevant spacing, anyway. Especially after 63. Always minus five. Minus four, maybe. If you know in your frame data. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> really easy to check now with the with the lab tools. Yeah, lab tools. Gotcha. Uh, in, in certain options, is definitely better than the wiki, I guess. Because of frame data. Oh, we're one day the wiki will have everything eventually, hopefully. Anyway, here comes the pressure by Nani. I get the 660. Do another one. Definitely could have comboed the. Oh, wait, no, that's not. Yeah, he could have comboed this silly what ass soul card. card gonna do? Yeah. It's just not. <laughs> <laughs> that is the resurrected butterfly. It gets stronger every single time you use it. Alright, bro. Well, he might be dead. Oh, he actually Blocked. raises the spirit balloon. Early. Oh my gosh. And that's gonna be 202 with you. Definitely the better you go, apparently. Wonder if you can um, backwards border escape and also dodge the 4 car. I've never done it, right? It's actually uh, easier with a backwards border escape because it has more iframes, but. Um, you need Yuko to actually give you a move to backwards border escape first, so... Yeah. It's happening a lot to me recently, but... The thing is, like... It's it's kind of variant on, like... Uh, when the opponent is hitting you. Mm. Um, and if you want to try doing, like, an early, early B... You want to press it... You want to press it almost immediately. You want to be mashing it, pretty much. Yeah. But... It's still kind of hard. Because if you, if you match backwards B before the opponent hits you, you just backdash. Yeah. And it's going to be the wrong timing. <laughs> and you get hit. So, I mean, there are lots of setups that Yuko can do that just lock you down anyway. So, it, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> that, that four card can be kind of messed up sometimes. Yeah. Anyways, uh, next I'm going to get a Ham versus Small and Deep. All right. And they are already on screen. No, I don't know if... Hands watched it yet, but they gave her some Japanese and I replace. Oh, See, that's what she was talking about earlier? I don't know if that's what she was talking about, but is it, maybe it helps her level up. No, that shit is old. <laughs> that's the only Sanai player I know. Actually, I think um that Honeycomb guy plays Sanai too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the replace I gave her. It's from that guy. He's pretty good. Very good, actually. Yeah. Small new snow slouch man. He has the fighting game team. I'm pretty sure he plays all the fighting games too. Yeah, he plays uni. 
Gundam, the neutral game. Grand Blue but anime. I don't think he likes Grand Blue. <laughs> not enough sauce. Oh. I'm not sure if that was plus some block, but Sorno kind of has. See, see, even if you can be minus often, um, if you just space yourself out against Sorno, she has to actually dash, and I'm not sure if she might lose her punish um, opportunity for having to dash and do a move in order to catch someone. Yeah, they can't add a lot of frame. Yeah. I like the falling star choice from uh, Ham right there. She can cast that in the air and like protect herself from aggressive Cerno play because it doesn't disappear if she gets in. Damn, that almost hit. She's totally gonna catch 5B Graze. Oh! That reaches Slap really back high. into the ground. Thought I got that reach. Interesting yeah, how a piece of paper like uh, Sanai has has more reach than Yomu Sword. I mean, Gohei's can dare I in size, I guess. Whatever this um, Miko piece of paper is called. Is that a Gohei? It looks more like it. it's just a piece of it's a stick with some paper on it. Yeah, they call us Gohei, I think. Yeah, but Rainbow's looks fixed. really different, right? It actually looks like it had some streamers and shit. This is just like, this is like a popsicle. A popsicle. Goes <laughs> <laughs> pretty damn big. Oh, now we got the the frozen summer frog. frog? Yeah, frozen, frozen frog. frog. Yeah. It's. I don't know what it's useful for right now, but it's a time waster. Oh, nice trade for him right there. In monsoon. Well, I mean, you can also use it to flip weather by tripping yourself up on purpose. I don't know, I don't see a lot of Frozen Frog, though. I mean, some people are trying to get that card to work for them by, like, using it against Iku to waste time on her veil and shit, you know? Uh, that's fair, I guess. No more to think about it, it's not... It just lasts long, I guess. It's not really something that's too hard to play against. I mean, That's it doesn't hard. really do anything. It does no damage. Oh. You know, if, if that three card locked you down forever, that'd be pretty dumb. Like, there was a spot in the three card where you, you can move out. That's a good catch. Yeah, she she knew that Small Nude was going to dash in, and he did the minus move into two way. Still caught. Good pressure. Seems that Sanae versus Shino is actually pretty good for Sanae, right? I mean, look at the amount of control she has. All her moves are bigger. She can actually contest Cherno's jump A with that huge piece of paper. Like, it works. Um, I guess it does look like that. I'm not too sure because at some point, like, fighting against Cherno, it's, it's kind of like it just nullifies your pressure to begin with. Sanae doesn't have great pressure, I guess. I mean, that's um, true, but so she doesn't need think, pressure but... to win. No, but the thing is, like, Cerno, like, if you do, like, if you have any sort of hole that can be poked out by a 5C, then you take damage for doing pressure. It's like, kind of kind of like the Ramilly thing, but a bit worse, I guess. Yeah. I... So, you, at most, at best, you have to learn to keep yourself safe while doing pressure. So you don't get J58 or 5C by Cerno when you're trying to do pressure. Um... As far as defense goes, you know, Sanai has a pretty good wake up, so it's not easy to keep her in the corner. Yeah. Ooh, from full screen. Yeah. They call that one the Kanakazo in Chile. <laughs> the Kanakazo. <laughs> Careful with these um, 5C rejump J5As because 3 card can definitely serve as an anti air there. Yeah. Nice frame prep. Bullet staggers. What would you call this? Well, at the frame, frame trap. Trap, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but it's it's like it's like Grazel. It's kind of weird. That's what works. I mean, you're trying to catch the button, so I mean, it frame traps regardless. Not every frame trap catches everything, you know. Oh, nice close range 660 for the high. Ooh, don't tag. 
Yeah, that's um, one of the things Han told me that she likes about stars is that it makes your conversions pretty easy. Well, not easy, but like it makes it more intuitive when you're playing Sanai. Um, because it kind of aims towards the opponent, and you can combo from many different situations. Uh, where you'd have to learn crazy aspects of the combos to combo with Sanai. Mm -hmm. So makes our life easier. Nice yeah. backwards jump 5A. We're getting some pressure right there. Ooh, and some tech chase. Yeah. <laughs> Claudia is going to need that 5 card to come back. Wow! How did he know that would hit? <laughs> oh. oh, sad. He couldn't get the F5A in time. See, that's yeah. what I mean with uh, with learning to be safe against Cerno while you're doing pressure. That was like the very edge of the 5C. Yeah. A lot of it is just that, you know, it's not that she kind of has to mash it. It's just that if Cerno does 5C early, it leaves a lot of meaty frames on the screen. So it kind of invalidates whatever momentum you have, unless you do some sick grazing tech or something. Mm, that's true. Yeah, I guess that's 2-0 for Ham over Small and you. Good shit to Hammers. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's next. You can see uh, Zero Fuse versus Evans. Oh shit, the patchouli mirror. That sounds like fun. <laughs> patchouli can't chase her own ground type. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of stuff flying everywhere. And does her DP even beat bullets? I'm not sure. I don't think it um, does. Um, the 623, the wind does. Oh, that's not a DP, is it? I mean, it's a DP that does no damage. <laughs> but it's still a so DP. I mean, you call uh, EQ's Veil a reversal, but that does no damage. Oh, it reverses momentum, I guess. That's yeah, the same thing as the wind. But what are you punching? Them away. <laughs> it blows them away. It's a reversal. <laughs> Where's the punch part? You don't the need to actually hit, hit people <laughs> to have a reversal. Like I said, EQ's 5 4 card doesn't hit people. It doesn't do damage. <laughs> What about Talisman? Is that a is that a DP? Wait, I don't even know if you can. That doesn't give you iframes, right? It needs a hole or something. All right. I think like the definition of a reversal actually doesn't even need to have iframes. I think because you can reversal like high jump, right? It's just buffered uh, on wake up or I buffered see. out of block stone. That's a reversal. But Diamond City doesn't beat bullets. Does that beat bullets? Emerald City? Yeah, yeah. Emerald I don't City. think so. I think it's only melee invincible. Hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> Diamond City. <laughs> if you got mad for that. I mean, it's a mineral. I think, right? Diamond's a mineral. I guess, it's like but emerald. it's not emerald. <laughs> mineral City. Just go with all the other Pokemon games until you get it right. <laughs> Ruby City, Sapphire Pearl City, City, Pearl City, <laughs> Gold, Silver, Crystal City. Alright. Um, I actually feel like these two players kind of pick their decks depending on the matchup quite often. It's kind of hard to try to guess what kind of decks we're going to use against each other. Yeah. Um, you can see it because you're you have the thing on, but I, do I don't. <laughs> well, Evan has the electric line, thing. But, yeah. Um, Evan's using um, the electric punch, uh, flash of spring, I believe. Where's that? That's... Uh... These names, bro. It's it's spring something. Yeah, and I think. Um, zero fuse leveled up the the chainsaw, right? Yeah, he's whatever the thing gears. So it's autumn gear. edge or autumn blade. I'm sorry. Right now, zero fuse definitely winning the bullet war. Probably because yeah. he's using the gears. Controls more space. Force to be right there. That's a really nice space. J5C land cancel, man. If you get a if you get a land cancel like that, like pretty quickly, um, 
feels it feels like pressure on us. <laughs> Cause you're forced to move and Pachuli has the freedom to go and chase you over one. At that range anyway. But um Evans is trying to poke back with B bullets and J6C eventually. So zero fuse response with the same. Yeah, these the chains are these gears are very they, they last quite a bit of time and their travel is not very fast, so it does serve as the Maki. Yeah, Zero Fuse is playing uh, the bullet game. He's like yeah. playing like reactive to Evan instead of like just throwing stuff out. He's waiting for Evan to like burn off his spirit and he's gonna take the advantage there. Ah, is there he going in? Nope. For the most part, every time a patrolier shoots the, the 236 fireball. He's not going to go forward. Um, it's probably because it pushes back, so oh, wow, going forward kind of seems a bit. Now the satellite's going to take control of the match. Well, unless it gets mashed. Uh, there's this Emerald City spell card. I'm not sure what is that that's called. Maybe he's going to try to like cheese out and the with it. I think I feel like he's looking for it right now. Yeah. Oh, they do it. it's not over yet. I think it'll take this like one counter fireball. Careful with that. Keep your right there. Whoa! What the <laughs> crash? <laughs> wow, you you can border escape that. You can border escape that. Unlike the third one. I see. He didn't know. He didn't know. <laughs> That's a knowledge maybe, check. Maybe That's a knowledge check. <laughs> Wait, maybe he tried border escaping the second one and he's like, fuck it, I'm dead. <laughs> Just keep over there. Pretty specific, though. It's like a, the Tenchi 2 card where you can border escape after like the third attack. Yeah. Here goes the pressure. You can get the read on the air melee into ground melee. Oh, another crush. It's gonna be sunny too. It's pressure. Oh, you let yeah. it out. I feel like it's really it's... hard for OP, for Patchy to OP Patchy. Yeah. She goes. It's it's very easy to react to. Well, it's not very easy, but it's doable. Um, but a lot of it depends on how fast your character is. Um, maybe there is a setup, but as for now, for now there is no setup that yeah, like, uh, Pachuli uh, uses to catch Pachuli on wake up, so they're just going to read. Yeah, they're just going to let each other wake up. The thing is, like, Pachuli's backwards tech goes so far that to cover it, they have to go like all the way to the back of the screen. That takes forever. Oof. That 236 almost hit right there. Evans is also two orbs down. That's actually gonna take it. Seems like the review is definitely more versed in the patchouli knowledge. Or at least in this video. Maybe yeah, you play like TV Mato like a bajillion times or something. <laughs> I don't know. But um he definitely keeps his momentum a lot better uh, with land council by C's. And the chains are helping, uh, the, ch the gears are helping him a bit more too. Um, sniping a bit more often than Evan. <laughs> specific combo right there. <laughs> see. Yeah. How much damage did that do? I didn't see. That was 1.8. Oh. So three cards or something? Four cards. <laughs> Ouch. Oh well. Oh, he can kill! Not quite, not quite. Yeah. Shed reading the back one there. Evan's just gonna wake up. Them to respond with more bullets. Sixty duels going on. I guess they're waiting. Oh, nice snipe by yeah. Evans. The thing about two two is that Patchouli travels um, slowly, and the two two kind of stays in her range even if she tries flying forward a bit. As Zero View is covering himself with that land cancel 5C, catching Evans and taking the game. Hey, Adili. A well, good job to Evans and Zero Fuzz. That was a nice game to watch. Don't usually see Patchy versus Patchy often. Me neither. See the real difference that uh, a few alts can make right there. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, I think Sokoi is even right? Okay, so... Moving on... I'll fill in the score for Zero Fuse. Give him a solid. Zero Fuse is gonna play against Al Risk in uh, Winner's Semis. Azu oh, is shit. going to play... Our Rude top right 16 players. I'm not sure how high Zero Fuse got in EVO. Uh, Zero but, um... Wasn't... He got, he got double eliminated by Wolfie, I think. Ouch. I would expect him to get top 16 now. Maybe even top 8. Well, he needed to get top 16, not top 8. Wolfie yeah, killed Wolfie him. Just, Wolfie cancelled him. But um, there's been a few times where... I think I might be confusing him. Confusing all risk with Foxer. Where racing is beat. Zero fuzz. So it's going to be an interesting matchup to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Sokoway Evans? Like the actual Sokoway in the chat? I didn't realize. Yeah. The official Sokoway Twitch channel. Go follow them if you haven't already. And that's for all our Spanish folks. Spanish speaking folks. You can go to. Evan's server. I think it's a server. Really nice server. Although maybe I should say it in Spanish. Okay, let's. There's no Spanish speakers here though. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's plenty in the chat, man. <laughs> yeah, but no, they know English, and they're probably already also in Sokoway. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with uh, Winter Mellow versus Root. I haven't seen Winter Mellow play, so. I think he's from C. Yeah, they're both from S E A. Oh. Who's his who's his enemy? His opponent enemy? Brood. Uh. Oh, it oh, doesn't Brood. work. Oh Brood, Brood is the up and coming Tessero. Hello's IP does not work. That's big sad. Can't have him Rip. Right I was trying to watch modern era Tessero. Yeah, same. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> He's gotten good in such a short amount of time, honestly. Yeah, but you know he's taking a break or something because he's going to college or whatever. I see. Yeah, but... I guess it's too late to tell them to switch hosts. So, uh, gonna have to find a different game. Let's see... Uh... How about, uh... Is it a daily playing? He's not in this tournament, because apparently she's too late. Uh, she's not check in? I feel like I saw her name. I saw her in the chat, but not in the tournament. Hmm. Oh no, it's even... Oh, let's see. Here we got Ham. This might end up being a Ham versus Zero Fuse. Our hammers is all risk. Because okay. honestly, it doesn't look like he's in his best days nowadays, so. Dude, all risk beat Ichiran. That's not easy. Yeah. Neutral God? That's because all risk might also be neutral God, honestly. How else would he get to top 16? Not using the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he'll lose to zero fuse. No, no confidence. <laughs> You gotta believe in yourself. I, remember, I feel like I did say that all risk is like E train if you played racing though. I might have said that. Really? <laughs> What's so similar about their playstyles? They just beat you with neutral, I guess. That's it. Hmm. I mean. The thing is, Aris definitely has a lot more gimmicks than Ichiran, right? I mean, they don't really play that similar. Yeah, but I mean, the spell cards he uses are are passive damage boosts, right? 
So the best way the best way you'd use the, the passive damage is by winning neutral. That's true. But I mean it's not like Ichiran wants to do passive damage. Yeah, I don't know what Ichiran wants to do either, but it's still winning I guess. Ichiran wants to he wants to win. He uses the Oki cards. <laughs> Every Sakuya use... player uses the same exact deck. Okay, okay. I, Ichiran I... actually uses some different cards. He uses perfect mate. No, I, I think it's just that, you know. I mean, I don't think Sakuya has a lot of spell cards, but I feel like she has you plenty can of see... spell cards. You just don't see any of them. No, you can see like at least one of like every spell card. Like, what well, what is in use, right? Okay, she has like, like imaginary vertical time. That's useless. I don't know what that is. Exactly. I mean, wait, wait. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how the other names said like Killer Door or like Private Square. Okay, she and has Sakuya's like World, Eternal Meek, the the bad crush card that doesn't work if you crouch it. Oh, that. And she has, not, it still does. It, does, it still does spirit damage. And she has the she has the reversal one, the other sla the blue slashes. Yeah, people still use that too. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> never seen it once. She has um okay imaginary vertical time, which puts the knives it stops time, puts knives everywhere, and then it's and then it starts time again. Okay, that one I actually don't see use, and I don't see why you would use it any anyway either. Not for now, anyway. Maybe there is a way to use it, but I just don't know how. And then, It'd be um, useful. other than that, the the good cards are like Ricochet. That's decent. Yeah, Ricochet. Um, Luna Dial, the one that does damage. That's pretty decent. Okay. And she has See, two that's... other four cards. Um, she has the pink bouncing knife that takes forever. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. I use I use one of them. What that does it works. do? It does nothing. It's bad. It, it auto crashes if if you if you, you get in your opponent's mind. <laughs> I guess if you manage to make them block it, even though it takes like three hours. Well, you actually can for a a, a two B J two A six two three B, and uh, that four card ends up hitting towards the end of six two three B J six two three B anyway. Um, but they have to stay in the corner. Yeah, they have to really respect. Sometimes um, you can't really do that. Yeah, and some people, you know, would rather get hit by the 4A or the J2A or the 6 3 instead of get hit by the 4 card. It kind of makes people mashy. But the other 4 card is fine, though. The one that stops time yeah. around you a bit. That one is fine, too. And then there's um, the combo one that only combos from counter hit. You see that from time to time, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a good spring Fantasmic haste Killer. Thing. Yeah, it's a good Spring Haste tech, I guess. Fantasmic Killer does nothing. What do you mean? It's it's good spring haze, right? Why would you bring a four card just to win spring haze? Okay, okay, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 get onto the hour risk versus uh, zero fuse. They start. <laughs> <laughs> that was a kind of a long tangent, but <laughs> we're waiting for the host. Yeah, uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We're starting. We're starting. All right. So, what do you think about patchuli versus racing? Um. Because because I most of the time can find a way to push a Pachuli. She doesn't really have DPs in general unless she brings Emerald City. Um, it feels pretty it feels pr pretty good and pretty easy to pressure honestly. Uh, so for me, you know, if I'm kind of autopiloting, I can just beat her with pressure. Um, as far as neutral goes, so the people it does pierce through J5C, so that's kind of nice. J5C does. Uh, racing J5C herself goes to the JC as well, so you do win. You do win close up bullet wars. You just have to be careful with the snipes and the two three six. Even even the two three even the, the rocket two three six can go through her bullets. Uh, and if it can, if it clashes with the six E, it's gonna explode anyway. Ooh. Ouch! Get meaty right there. Wasn't blocking. Yeah. Probably expected something else besides the. Uh, probably wanted like a bullet on BD, but. Yeah. Right to the BA. Aurisk wants to. I guess the 2 and 4 will uh, serve as a good space taking tool. Um, but you have to do it pretty early, or else Patchy will just destroy it before it even gets her, like yeah, that time over there. Dang, a full 15 just completely destroyed it. 
I think the laser is probably better here, right? Because at least the laser can't be destroyed. Yeah, you do have to be in the ground though for it to to be more useful. That's a good cross up right there. That's definitely going to be the three card buff right here. Okay. Still no Oki. What is that? <laughs> um, that's the so photosynthesis. It gives Tatsui spirit and HP regen while that spotlight is on her. Oh, so it's sunny. It's sunny, I guess. Calm. No, it's calm. There you go. It's calm uh, plus plus, I guess. Saw zero fuse. Just eat three mine explosions right there. <laughs> <laughs> is that chip damage? I'm not sure if it like there canceled it out it. Cancel it out. Wow, it does boost quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, look at his HP oh. going back up, dude. <laughs> yeah, how much HP is that? <laughs> a lot more than it looked that it should, apparently. Um, is it higher than the green star? I Ooh. think so. I have I to look up how much exactly the HP regen is. Oh, the tank! <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be that. Diamond hardness, coming in clutch. Um, because Raisin did crouch under the foray, if he canceled into a boy, it would have hit her for counter hit. Um, it's hard to notice, like, he did 3A. He didn't realize that yeah. he ate 3A until after it was too late. Oh, that's 6B. Even on the ground, if you're close by to Pachulu, you have to be careful with that move, because it does graze. So and it's so going high. to attack. Yeah, it's going to attack, attack your B bullets in the ground. It does extend it its hurt box, so it's good to challenge, but something you have to be worried about. Nice wombo. No, Kazimi, right here. Still in the corner, though. Uh, the corners are burst. Her back is pretty good, huh? The chilies. Feels like it recovers pretty quickly. Oh! Getting counter hit by the J2A. I see. So this deck is kind of uh, buffing Pachuli to be a bit more defensive and mashy. And oh, try to push up her speed a bit more. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I think uh, Alvarez could try to lock down more, you know? He's playing really far away from Pachuli. I think that's playing in a zero piece of hand because he's able to like buff himself up and stuff, you know? Well, maybe the match doesn't start until he gets to his third. Mountain Dew. Like, if he just... Wow, that no. actually beat 6A clean. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they refuse to, like, the, the micro walk. Ah, <laughs> uh, 2-2. Two, two. He sniped the laser. Oh, this is... You can't interrupt it here. Oh, oh my god. What a big damage. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe this is the, the all-risk deck counter pick. He fights you with his buff decks, and other people just choose their own buff decks. So yeah. It's a pretty uh, innovative, innovative, I'm sure that's how you say it. If he's gonna go back and buff up, then why not play the buff game too, right? <laughs> Third Mountain Dew coming, honestly. All-risk does manage to win this match. He'll be oh, pretty powered up. Oh, yeah. He went for the J2B, lot. but uh, Zero Fuse was above him. Yeah, there's not a lot of reason to do J2B right there. Um, that air tech height was a bit too high for that. That's gonna be 2-0 to Zero Fuse. I guess Alris was, Al was right, but I mean... he It's not like he didn't have a chance, right? Yeah. I think yeah, it's just win anyway. I'm going to the playstyle counter. It does. It does level. It does um. Kind of delete the buffs that um all risk gets if you just use a deep defense buff to counter it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a silly game, but and his defense <laughs> buff costs no meter. You can just throw it out there as long as he has space. All it is is the alt card and then the bam. Defense up, super armor. Trailblazer decks. <laughs> I would have never seen these decks back in 2014. Okay, uh, let's. See. Well, the HP is kind of uh, defense, I guess. <laughs>
<laughs> sort of. to get on the Swan Dew versus Brood, but it seems that when Brood is player 2, I can't spectate him. It happened again. I'm gonna see if I can ask Brood to switch posts. Cherno versus Komachi, huh? Unless Brutus gonna use Saki or something. What's he setting up? AP? Well, auto punch doesn't work right now, so it's gotta He's be VPN all uh, Hamachi or VPN or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's what you can't host. Oh, his VPN- the, the SCA VPN is expired? Someone didn't pay it? Oh, no. No! VPN. That's like playing a net play fee. Who forgot to pay for the SCA VPN? <laughs> Was it fear? <laughs> <laughs> what, did you just share VPNs with other people? I thought they all shared a VPN. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna watch you watch a relay. That's that's a long chain. Yeah. Well, maybe if I can connect, you can you can just. Yeah. Can you connect to that IP? That small one do you have? Wait, are they even in game? They should be. Turning IP. Because I can't connect to small MBU. Small MBU, who are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I can't connect. Yeah. Oh well, I guess we can't really watch them. Let's move to a different one then. Oh, Smallandy wants to forfeit. Well, we'll see that if that sorts itself out. Um, I guess Evans is playing against Artema. That started a while ago. Evans versus Artema. They might be in the middle of game two or game three. I'll take a look. Seems that small dude's gonna take the loss. So. That takes care of that, I guess. He's a small dude. That's what being a world class player means in Soku. You have to play from people with other countries in the late 7. You know, although I, I did um I did find out like probably a week ago that Ultimate Online is it's like delay ten and up, honestly. Yeah. Wait, you played Smash Ultimate Online? It's so bad. I tried it. Smash Online is a joke. It made me thankful for having rollback in this game. Play rollback. I mean, you play all net play in like half of the fighting games out there. It's like a complete joke sometimes. 
And then you have Soku, which just feels always... Even bad Soku feels better than, like, good in other fighting games. Oh my god. Like, Uni? Play Uni online? I've only played with people that are in my same city, so... And even that lag sometimes. <laughs> See how this our team are definitely putting Evans in the corner right here. Let's see what kind of pressure he's gonna put on. Crush of the J2A ROM block. Not gonna follow up on that Okizimi. Ah. Oh, it's a 6 caught. I'm gonna have a chase in that. Nope. Didn't go uh, I could have. Right uh, could have whiffed punish the day away, yeah. It's pretty hard though. Right there, you can you can sort of punish the day to away. Gonna kill. I don't even think he needed it, but you know, just to make sure. I've seen Artem play a lot. Of yeah, he's a pretty regular SA player. Get on that grind. Oh, what is this? Evans is using Philosopher Stone. You know, the Avatar stage. That's what I like to call it. Oh, that's gonna hit. Oh, Monsoon too? Does he, have Does he have these? No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tipper the 2C to get the loop. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have a monsoon combo. I have one monsoon combo with Rayton. Oh, it's like 3 8 mind explosion? Oh. 3 8 into anything. <laughs> 3 8 combos now, <laughs> so I just do anything. Oh, I'm going go for the air stagger, but I think it's gonna fly away. Flamethrower! So much good damage on that dude. Yeah. Oh, well, our Kevin's got a chance. Got a toy broke in there. All right. Guess wrong. Yeah. There is a way to Okizeme. Hatch it with million, but you need to lab it. Wow. Oh, that works. Got to do that walk back save. Don't dash. Oh. It's Golden Fox. How's it going, you old and fox? Local Amelia expert. Our time of blocking so much in the air doesn't block the six, jump six, the six C right there. Gets hit. That's a smash tech. You already have to be a godlike reactor. <laughs> tech chaser. <laughs> you gotta gotta be a godlike tech chaser. So when you look at the Oki, Ozemi, and Soko, you're like, I know this. I feel right at home. This is gonna expire, no one's gonna use the spells. Look at just sitting on the whole bunch of beater, just waiting. Okay. Um, that's not gonna combo very well, but it does some damage, I guess. He was really, really wanting to use that, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I was like. It was probably like killing him, it was like, I have this for so long, I have to use it. <laughs> Uh, gonna get punished for trying to grace the flamethrower. It's a lot easier to go over it and try to hit with a jade today. Just require a bit of movement practice, but yeah, it's pretty hard to tough to go over things with Amelia. Go easy moves, and watching the bomb right there. Yep, there is. Yeah, bomb does a good time. Give up the opportunity to go in a bit deeper there. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of getting hit. For trying to punish two three six, um, I think it might be ripped. Yeah. yeah. I think Evans wins that. Seems like it was second game. Okay, we got that. They threw out the. They win it, lost track. Oh, 
26 month subscriber, you got a real fan, Tessero. He's a founder. Founder of what? Your channel? Yeah. What? Apparently, the first few subscribers you get are founders and they get badges. <laughs> Does he have uh, special Komachi emotes? Yeah, if you sub, you get four emotes now. You have a Tester Comba. That, that's uh, yeah. There's Tester Comba. Oh wait, what? You're oh, sub too. Oh, I'm a sub. Tester Fabe. The fuck? You have a Tester Shame, and you have a Tester Netplay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Blaze Blue <laughs> reference right there. Why am I a Tester sub? The fuck? I don't remember subbing to you. Oh well. You probably got gifted <laughs> one by Irish. Oh yeah, that's how I remember. Because he gifted so like it. 50 subs in the channel. Yeah. There was a time where I wanted to I wanted to subscribe, but I accidentally uh, gifted subscribers to the chat. <laughs> what did I just do? How do you accidentally gift subs? Because I just... I went to one of the icons below your stream, right? And it said like, gift a subscriber, so I thought it was gifting it to you. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the chat, I was just like, damn, Blaze, out here, I don't know, gifting subs to people. I was like, wow, I just wanted to sub to Tessera because he gave me a sub, but... I thought him giving me a sub meant that I could use the sub on everyone, on anyone I wanted, but it was automatically to you, I guess. So. Yeah, well, I mean, it still supports the channel, regardless. It's just that you don't get any benefits, the other guy does. Accidentally partnered. That'd be pretty hard to do. <laughs> the, the partner um, requirements are really high. You need to like average 75 viewers a stream. Damn. Maybe if you had a Soka set every every day. <laughs> no, it's not sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you made your Fire Emblem video, Tessero? You wanted to get more subscribers? No, I was, uh, one Saturday, um, it was like after we did our group watch shit, Silver was like, yo, you got our, here's a tier list, right? Every single Fire Emblem character. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> this is like Ichiren and, uh, Evans are in delay test right now. Uh, they're, it seem, kind of seems like they're going in, but I guess that was just a combo to test. Patron is from Russia, right? Yeah. Maybe Ukraine. I can't. I, think it's Ukraine. I, I don't know if it's Russia or Ukraine. I think it's Russia. I thought it was Ukraine. I know Tiwatit is Ukraine. I feel like Ukraine is just Russia too. It's a good thing you don't get cancelled for talking about Russia. <laughs> I mean, just like United States is Canada is United States too. That's not. A, there's, there's no problem with that. Wow, that day today hit pretty late. That has so many active frames. Yeah, that's why you you end up flying a bit before you actually get hit by the move. You did get streamed, Artima. Oh, cut the jump out. Now we're going with Private Square in Sun Shower. Okay, now Sun Shower ended right in time. That's gonna catch, yeah. Such an easy catch. In, uh, Private Square is so risky. Yeah, there is a there is a place you can do it at that I know of. It's when Sakia does two three two three six. That's gonna be a frame trap. That's what you call them, right, Tessera? I mean, it's a frame trap. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's diamond dust. I don't know why do. you, you don't believe bullet same traps are real. Well, look, when we talk about Soku, um, we can probably make our own terminology. We're not Smash <laughs> players, guys. <laughs> We're not Splash players, dude. <laughs> we use the same terminology as everyone else. I like the perfect mate in uh, Etrian's deck. I don't feel like that's gonna be useful against Patrick. Like, if he's just gonna throw bullets everywhere and knock you out of it, right? Yeah. Oh, there it oh. is! 
Uh, I told you, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, that was gonna now be you know why Patchy and my why Sapphire players only use the same two cards. The rest are just so bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess Patchouli you can use for Sta Phantasmic Killer. Whistler, Spirit Bit. It's like a, it's like a lower end, um, whatever Patchouli's holding right now card. Uh, Royal Flare? I know yeah. Evans is waiting for it. As soon as e uses all, all of his spirits, he's gonna match that card and kill him. Yeah, people actually kill their spirit a bit too often when they're against Royal Flare. So I mean uh and Saki is a pretty bullet heavy character in neutral, so Yeah. You do a bolt in the air, you know, you fly around a bit, you waste your spirit like that. Oh you guys are using Full of Stone instead. Yeah. Avatar stage. I remember this spell card because it's so popular. I Phantasmic mean, it's cool. Killer. Dun, dun. <laughs> I remember people were getting hyped over Avatar because it was on Netflix recently. Yeah, that J5C is not going to go through the JP. Oh, pool, huh? almost crushed him! Oh, you did. Nice. Good job, Evans. Evangelion. <laughs> Evangelion. Yeah, the thing about that end swing right there is that uh, Etrian actually couldn't border escape to get his spirit back into his Sunny at the end. Ouch. I feel like Sunny is low key one of the better offensive weathers that people don't really think of as an offensive weather, right? Um, I, I've actually seen it pop up more often nowadays. Where it's. I think it once you get better at B chasing. Uh, then Sunny gets super good. Yeah, it just becomes ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Like, you literally wish some, some matches because of Sun Sunny when you're a good B chaser. <laughs> and you don't notice sometimes. Oh, oh that's gonna be traded. <laughs> yeah. What's this Aurora? Oh, you can't like, finish it. Kinda looks like Sunny. That kinda looks like Spring Haze, honestly. If he can pull this rabbit square off, he wins. Charge 6 6 a Charge 6 So close, gets the crush! Can't confirm! Yeah. Oh, he got crushed by Hakeki! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh the 6 snipe. <laughs> I don't know why Tassipro made that even have a block direction. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Probably didn't take out the property when making Hangeki. Oh, well. Like, they made the move and they forgot that they put... Um... High and low properties on every move. That is, that is not bullet. It would have been crazy, right? If they made Hangeki recover fast enough so that if you crush with it, you get a combo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be too good, too. Each of hit buns on tech right there. Ah. Oh, that's a good crush. Yeah. I'm not gonna get punished right there for that, but now Ichirin is two orbs down. He's really struggling against that neutral that Evan's putting up. Yeah. Four card crush? Oh, wow. Mm. You're gonna go above people very often when you do that. You missed his chance to do Diamond Dust, but try to using this card instead. Careful with the <laughs> drain, with the drain of that card. I think um, he air dashed really low to the ground, and he didn't have the. There is like a frame where he wasn't grazing before he touched the ground, so. He didn't oh, oh no, he 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 did the great set. I'm pretty sure. He just. I don't know if he got hit. I think he did reach the ground. Oh well, I don't remember. Yeah, he respected that though. Yeah. Oh, That's fun. That's punishable. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he definitely wanted the air version, but he canceled it too late. Yeah. Fantastic killer for the time. Look, it's time. It, it's it's this thing. Oh! It's this weather. Uh, uh, dust storm. That's right. Yeah. I feel like in dust storm you can combo it from some stuff and do like a ton yeah, of damage. Yeah, you know, you, you you can combo it from anything. Actually, any any air move you can combo into fantastic killer. Godly. Like, it's a dust storm card. <laughs> six six C fantastic killer. J six A fantastic killer. It went away though. So now he's gotta use this meme card. Yeah, he's got the meme card up. 
Yeah. Didn't get the combo there. Gonna get crushed for not finishing his combo. Time! That's gonna be punished. <laughs> it traded. Yeah. I mean, he got more damage off of the trade, at least. Um... But he lost more cards than he probably wanted to, so... I'm ready, he doesn't care. I mean... It's not like he's that stabbed for a meter. He got another one. Another right. Mew card. No, but he pulls off the private score instead. Oh, you went Whoa. through him! <laughs> what happened there? He got so food. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> nice punish. Oh, he dropped the last game. Okay. Oh, nice block on the low. On the high, I mean. Six to say. Even turn now. Oh, he has to do his knockdown Bakia. Yeah. He can go in. Bad. He's Maybe. gonna snipe him. Okay, match point for Ether in here. You do it consistently. Big counter hit. Nope. No combo on that counter hit. Play 63. Damn, he actually just dashed forward. No fear. Yeah. Yo, he picked it up. Another one. How does he have so many cards? <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be a crush. Wow, what an enter. <laughs> that was cool. And another one. Private Square. Single player game right now. Oh, we actually tried to hit a button. <laughs> we can't combo it. You have to. You have to do a bullet that lasts really long. Well, everything is gonna last longer in a private square because your bullets get slower traveling. So it's good to just press a bullet that lasts a long time. Now he's getting. He's getting pressured in the corner. Good graze out. I like how his last two cards line up perfectly to get one more killing doll off. Or he might kill a perfect mate, we'll see. That Not gonna <laughs> crush there. Actually, to a beat to me though. Pretty nice. Mm, that high jump here for wasn't gonna hit from any angle. But now they're both nope. depleted their meter. How far are you gonna reach? Yeah. That's 2 0 to Ichiren. Ichiren takes the game. <laughs> Rip of Anison's. I feel like Saki is really good at locking down Pat Julie, right? If she's in her vertical line, the Sakia just wins with 6C. Well, anyways. Is Ichiren gonna move on to the top six? Where it's going to fight against Azu. And uh Aurus beat Brood, so. Ouch. I mean, no, Brood beats. I mean, uh, Brood beat out. Yeah, Alvarez beat Brood, so Brood is out. So, top four, just one match away, it's gonna be the winner of Azu versus Etrin, and then uh, mm. that will face out. That Alvarez will face that. Okay, so Azu first. Oh. I never update the bracket command, <laughs> sorry. Crip. I mean, the bracket is in the stream title. Why would you ever even use the command? It's right there. Oh, you know what I hate is is that I have to copy the I have to copy the the what's on the title and then paste it on the address link. I wish it was just a link. I mean, you can't put Link in Twitch titles for some reason. Lame. Lame! Anyway, we got Azu versus Ichiren, and Sakia versus Ichiren. Maybe you can make a bot that posts uh, the, the bracket link every 10 minutes. Maybe. Maybe one day. When you get to that point. <laughs> I don't know, I'll maybe worse, honestly. He's definitely been playing for quite a long time. Yeah. Zumaro. Do I join your host? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already started. That dude's about to win the first round here. It's close. What can I join? Do you think my relay or just the one from directly? Uh. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Damn. This gotta be a very far. I'm not sure how laggy this can be. Well, it's, it's Russia to the Philippines. Fear Bloom! Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the. Saki unescapable OP pressure. People think oh. that that runs the matchup, you know. I mean, if you do get the. If you do get the Fear Bloom down, which is still effort, um, you do end up winning a lot because of the rat. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Sakia, it's not like Sakia loses a neutral too. It's like. Yeah. Sakia has the neutral advantage. Fuzzy. And then, if she gets knocked down, she loses. Ooh, that J2A gonna dodge the 2A. Another one. No! <laughs> oh, I guess he, he wanted wrong. to keep it. Oh! Okay, no punish Damn. either. And he just bashes out 3A. Well, that was a whiff punish if you think about it. Sort of. I guess, but I mean, still. <laughs> Who whiff punishes with 3A? <laughs> well, if they try jumping, at least you catch something. I would have pressed that 5A. There it is! Oh, that is. I guess it takes neutral, yeah. Smart, smart. Alright, now this, um. This is what they call it again. Sun Shower. There we go. Nice wombo. That, yeah, that that coin is not going to be effective against that kind of pressure. Air oh. bullet into J66. That's gonna be a crush. It's fair nah, it needs one more level before it really gets strong. Well, level two is already pretty strong, honestly. He's just going for um, it. That's gonna not crush. He can't escape it unless he runs out of orbs for running diagonally. Okay, he did it. Okay, smart. It's not over yet though. The Zoo can still win this if he gets the good knockdown. Oh, what was the <laughs> yeah, bro? <laughs> no hitbox on Sakuya <laughs> right <so> there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Yo, you ever you ever anti-aired you equals J2A? Like that? Jesus. I mean, if your character just stops existing when you hit 2B, it's pretty easy to get <laughs> here, right? <laughs> almost looked like head and bull, yeah. Imagine Soko had, like, property invincibility. <laughs> but no, Sophia just doesn't exist when she hits 2B. I'm not gonna knock down personally. For the, six, 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 the Wombo there because the River Mist, yeah. Hey, I guess River Mist is the best time to use those Graze moves because they're harder to punish. Yeah, it, it, um, I don't know how the timing works, but it pulls you back when you do something like a 6 c Whoa! Did that cross up? Yeah, but he blocked it. I... Do, do things become cross-ups if you're already in block zone? I'm not sure. No, you can't get blocked up if you're already in block zone, but... You if can't you get leave a gap, up, right? If you leave a gap, then you can. Yeah, I think U equals J4A has yeah, so much block stun that people actually tend to do that thing a bit too early. jj 6 a cancel. So it doesn't cross up, and it looks like you block the, the most godlike cross-up in the game. Alright, that's gonna be... Oki Zimi. Midi the Oki, yeah, there you go. Oh, he was right. too close for the charge 6 to connect! Yeah. Have to watch out for that. Good 6 to 3. Oh. <laughs> that was <laughs> I'm surprised right there. Oh my god. This matches. This is Spear Bloom. Ooh, crush. Okay, good for escape. Yeah, you need to you need to do 6 to 3 into card right there. That's the guarantee. Okay, the oh, nice! Oh, he shimmied him, but then he dropped no. it. Going for a lot of these <laughs> air split. Just jump, dude. Oh, yeah, they just kept respecting it. He did the same thing like five times in a row, and as he just sat there, he's like, oh, damn, what do I do? <laughs> uh. Okay. 
Um, I guess this. That just got him. <laughs> that might be a good idea against Scribble. Made it. I'm not sure though. Phantasmic Killer! Oh my yes. god. <laughs> <laughs> All so close to getting him with enough spirit, but I mean, not quite. That's four he cards down the drain, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does it does do a lot of orb damage, but the start of time is, is so much that um They recover the spirit by the time we start attacking. Yeah. You have to use it on a card that kind of kills spirit recovery. Um, but then you have to know what kills spirit recovery, so it's you have to have some knowledge to use the card that way if you want to use it. So it's very interesting when like people do coin. Oh, he's gonna kill. He's my kill. Well, he can Where use private Fabiola? square to avoid it. Oh, he just got hit. Oh, and it comboed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, like, uh, the fantastic killer or stuff that like takes a lot of orbs. Um, it's usually good to do on people that like um, coining a lot. Because yeah. coin forces you to recover, I mean, kills your recovery spirit. Your spirit recovery for some time, so pretty useful there, but. A little specific. The coin is pretty meta, honestly. Yo, oh. he called it out with the wake up, the six, the mini 660. You saw that, <laughs> right? Did he cancel your private square. <laughs> well, I mean, he already wasted it with the 660. Now he only has three cards left. Yeah, but using killer is all right there. Just ended the whole thing. Oh my god! Twenty twenty mana. Oh, this is scary. Sprinkle sphere bloom setups now. Oh, he, good, yeah. he misspaced it. Yeah. That was actually the snowball that could have won him the game. Okay, he's getting another chance or not. Oh, that might get those points. Oh, so Sunny, funny. he can't recover, yeah. Yeah. Neutral private player. Gate to see, bro! What's but happened? nothing happened. Okay. <gasps> well, he put himself in a bad situation, I guess. He tried catching the board escape right there. But nothing, no. Oh, this is super scary. Can't punish that gate to see. Did nice get kill here? No, he dropped the last hit! You should've just gone for jump 8A. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about meat. Talk about fat. Dang. Talk about meat. That jump 8A though. That was a pretty mean battle. Jump 8As in this game are massive. But yep, that is it. Etrin's going to take that dub all the way back to Russia and eliminates Azu. Rip Azu, Murrow. Okay, so that brings us to the final four. So we have Zero Fuse versus Ham and winners, and then ours versus Etrin and losers. Oh, we're top four? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is is there any laggy matches on this? No, oh, man. I think we're, we, we're, we... we're all good now. We're smooth sailing. Nice. Relatively, at least. Zero Fuse versus Ham. That's got to be SC versus NA, so the classic. I don't know why I'm connecting. Well, whenever they Zero start. Fuse. Okay, Let's there's see. the hose. 1120. <laughs> Sakuya, no, I mean Sakuya. Patchouli versus Sanae. It's gonna be interesting. I also don't see this matchup. It's gonna be Bullet Wars versus Bullet Wars. But Patchouli's Bullet Wars can end in crushes, and Sanae's Bullet Wars end in uh, neutral, so, you know, there's a difference. Well, Sanae has. Full screen graze move, so. Oh, that's true. Sonic can be way that, more aggressive, but I mean. That's pretty. It's, it's gonna be dangerous if he tries doing. If he, if he gets red by Kanako. The Kanakazo. But, um, you know. 
Tam uses wind more often than not, so maybe she goes for the wind instead of the Kanakazo. <laughs> the Kanakazo. <laughs> okay, so we're getting started here. Oh, they didn't combo, but it did catch a back dash right there. It's gonna be safe. For a so big that it, you know it's not gonna combo, but it's going to stop Pachuli from going somewhere else in that situation. Sonic actually it probably has one of the best dabs in the entire game. Yeah, it would uh, it would be like contender for top three if, it could, if there was a way to combo it from from the air, honestly. Yeah, but. I think if you're like top that. three jabs, you're like looking at Oku, Romilia, and then Sana is like number three. Well, I guess Mei yeah. Lang is number three, and then Sana, I guess. Oh. Nice. Nice. With punish in that. Gonna heal up. Sana right, throwing those snake clouds. Yeah. The bad luck. Explodes. Wow, this bullet hell. Oh, oh man. Man, that's just gonna do mad damage. That did 2.5 by itself, even without the combo. <laughs> so it would have done 3k if you just comboed it. Jesus. You get LC right there. Oh, that's gonna know, trade the, like that. The, the C bullets were still there. The lady lingered. Catching that back right. perfectly. Look at this pressure. Yeah. That's a crush. Wow. You're dead. Oh, oh no, he's able to escape. Yeah. He just counted the orbs, I guess. It's kind of a weird, kind of a weird card. It does form a pre. It is a pressure card, and you're not plus, but you can't get hit. So <laughs> both just like play. flying at each other. <laughs> I was expecting the trade. Pretty sick. Pretty sick stuff from Ham. Going for the re for the reland right there. For the re jump J for a escapes has a wind up now. So no more Kanakazo, but a bit more neutral in play. I mean, it works for that doing because even she can't throw any bullets at the wind tunnel. He refused to bust himself up. Oh, nice land cancel. Wow. You have to respect it. No, it's, it's a simple thing, but it's not it's not easy to input, honestly. You have to get used to the timing. Yeah. Sonny is actually pretty technical. He refused to add a spirit right now. You gotta be careful. Yeah, like there, that was a good land cancel. She did, she didn't miss it once for that one, but it's pretty consistent in general. So, B catch that five B. Oh, look at that speed. Respect. Yeah. Not gonna combo very well due to the way the angle worked. Okay, border escaped out of there pretty nicely. J two C is going to defensively stop Patchouli from going up. It's gonna be. That was combo. Yeah. And buffs it up. Yeah. Oh, cross over there. Oh, nice. Into the corner. Talisman gonna push Bye. her away. She needs to put up the wind. There we go. Nerfy is doing All a right. lot better job of avoiding it. He's flying right just above it. Oh, that's a good 660. Nice. One more chance. I mean, one opportunity. Oh, it's the one for block. the four card right there. I think that was yeah. it. The three card, I mean. Oh, nice land cancel. Almost tried chasing Patchouli. Almost had her. Oh, awesome. wow. That cross. <laughs> nice block. <laughs> Make it safe. Uh, I'm not sure if it was not safe, but it might have been. Ouch. Um, not good thing about it. Patchouli's J J2C and 236 it stops her momentum in the air. So you can attack oh, towards the wind direction. Yeah. Nice, nice. We got clipped. <laughs> Elite Sunny <laughs> mid round. <laughs> Don't tech. He had those taps down point. Careful with the top one. Wow, 60B not gonna reach there. <laughs> Look at the movement speed right now. <laughs> yeah, the wind. Sai is basically like Smash Luigi. <laughs> Melee Luigi. <laughs> this slip and slide. <laughs> Oh. That was a lot of wrong blocks right there, but he border escaped out of that. 236, I think it's called. Yeah. Actually, no, it's the P14. 
me is like. Hey, what Earth God Summon Iron Ring. It um instead of increasing your turning radius, it increases her wind effect. So it pushes her forward for pushes her around more. Oh, so she's oh, just mega fast. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the back tech with the faster wake up. Yeah. Oh, the bullet wars. Damn, we've seen a lot of bullet wars in this. Oh, that's gonna hit twice. Not gonna come, unfortunately. Wow, that jump 8A. Maybe just matching on wake up. He's out of meter. Or B from him. This whole tournament has just been bullet wars. <laughs> Both down to their last. No, no. Ham's down to like four cards. Zero view is out of meter completely. Oh. oh. Ham's gotta watch his fear too. Oh, it could have been a wood push. Nice 2C. Nice oh, red wrong on the tech direction. Nice. Doing a very good job of not getting hit by these bullets, but oh. 5C is gonna take it. <laughs> Bad place to summon Kaneko. Yeah. That's gonna be one. <laughs> Farsani, stop this. <laughs> you think Ham should start dropping the wind tunnels and start going for the Kanakato? Uh, I don't know much about what wind would do in this matchup, honestly. I would definitely just go with the Kanakato, but just maybe she has a plan. Oh, we'll see. I think You she... know, it's, it's air useful, so it's just, I don't know. Let's see what the night is. The way she's playing, it feels like she thinks that 66B is uh, good enough for the purpose that she wants to use it for. She didn't change the cards at all either. So we'll yeah, see. that makes sense. The award is vastly different, but. <laughs> there it is. 66B right there. And one more. Oh, that's a good one. Interesting. Alright. I think Zero Fuse is also packing up on these. Fan, so you're getting into fast chuli territory, and that means she's going to be able to get away a lot easier. Wow, wake up! Wake feet. up right there. Yeah, I think it also helps her to link more combos. Okay, okay. Oh, nice 66 B! Can't get the conversion though. Yeah, third card could have worked right there, but didn't do it. Oh. Cross oh, the cross up again. She's not dead. Set Wait, up the win, but once again, Chewie can stay up. Oh! Stop the momentum. 6 6 B crush? Yeah. I guess it does fear damage on block regardless of direction. I think I think it, if you're going to use the win here, you have to you have to call out this 2 3 6 J2A in the air a lot more. Um, with a J to day after you graze in. Yeah, I guess you're, if you're using wind tunnel lower on the ground, you force zero fuse to go up into the sky. But if you don't do anything about that, it's not really useful, right? Yeah, have to hit her doing that. Have to be close as well. At the corner. Alright, yeah, gotta block the six there right there. Zero Order on block. Escape, so. Good border escape. That could be a punish. Oh, getting combo from the J5A, fortunately. Hit too high. Woohoo! <laughs> so much respect. Feels like. War War again, 2 3 is gonna pop up. Yeah. It feels like Ham is waiting for her uh, wind tunnel to go up before she even like attempts to go in. Like if wind tunnel's um, not up, she's not really gonna try to do anything. Oh, this is looking dire. Yeah. The sun is popping up on the weather. Oh, I think that might be it. Oh, he dropped it. He thought he had the default 41. <laughs> the autopilot. <laughs> oh, that's a good. And that's GG. F ham. Zero fuse with a 2 0. What do you call the cooked ham? Um. Hamon Serrano. 
sausage, I guess. The sausage just cooked ham. <laughs> This is uh, not the right game. Uh. Am I replay decent? Hopefully, it doesn't re, re desync again. There's been a lot of bullet war matchups in this tournament. Yeah, so I'm so, gonna uh, come down here. Oh, is Ham not dead yet? No, no, I'm just looking at the uh, replay. I want to see how close the 60 was. Nice. It is wow. barely clipped her. <laughs> Fortunate. That was the difference between winning and losing the round, dude. <laughs> that was a four pixel square. Pack the leg. Okay. Let's get on to the losers semis. Um, I guess it can be pretty difficult to know when you when you're actually safe. Um, you know, they are pixels, so and not really high definition pixels. I mean, how many pixels are in Soku? I don't know. It's like. What's the resolution of this game again? I actually forget. Two, uh, 642 something? 480? I think. I mean, we're, let, let's not, uh, let's not think about it too hard. Adrian versus right. Alris is in delay check right now. Yeah. Um, normally there's a action pad matchup, but, um, both of these players are innovators, so innovator of their characters. I like throwing out the new tech, the new moves. Wow, finally someone not playing library. This is the first time. This whole I tournament. Like yeah, I love the time too. But maybe Ichirin has the godlike offense in this matchup. It's not, it's not hard to keep racing in there forever. Yeah, so the same thing is also not hard to keep Saki in there forever. So. Yeah, but it's an action pack, but... Innovators, man. Nice 2B and tier. Probably gonna have to fly behind her to try and punish that move. Or do a 2-1-4 uh, ring, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's what all risk uses. That's a nice cross um, reversal right there. But now, each uh, all risk has some pressure. Gonna get air tech caught right there. Oh, man, this is the, the air there. Border escapes. Saki uh, turns around just in time to hit her with a JA. I don't know if you guys can hear Tusser because I can't. No, I haven't been saying anything. I was too busy troubleshooting. I'm like, wait, what's going on? And, uh. Oh. I canceled them for him accidentally. I forgot they're doing the same at the same time, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> Vertical time. Right oh. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, racing just goes towards the opponent. Well, I, I think mean, that can be a. Uh... Race through people, so she can actually get through. It's like just racing behind. Yeah. There is there is a 
I have a theory that race and neutral can evolve. Evolve. Um, evolve if you if you learn to master the timing of when she actually starts going through opponents from time to time. I don't, I don't know I if the game can use really frames. Okay. No, you can you can use it for other stuff, especially for defense. You know, like um, Ikus Exodia. Nice wow. to it right there. <laughs> I see that's, the perfect bait. Yeah, that's gotta be punished with B bullets or or a bullet, honestly, because it's not easy to time a, a good whiff punish. <laughs> we'll wake up uh, 63. It has a low profile, so it actually went under the far A. Yeah. How's it going, Balos? Yeah, I'm not sure if Racing gains imble frames on dash. Do you know that? It's I don't my think it has I don't invincibility know. frames. It gets still grazes, it just goes invisible. It's not the same as invincible. Uh Oh wow. Face that that F5 match right there, hit him with a J2B. I guess, you know, that would already do that to begin with. He likes doing his J2B a lot, so. Nice snipe with the J6C. So in the corner, what happened oh there? God. He missed time though, <laughs> yeah. Because of the monster. Oh. I definitely would have broken legs, but yeah, this time Loki is hanging right there. Oh, nice air to air. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Ichiro neutral coming in. Oh no. Okay. Is this 1 0? Yep, 1 0. Ichiro and up 1. Nice chase, all risk. See with that J3D. <laughs> See if I hit backwards, didn't do anything about it. Okay. Yeah, tried to hit uh, hitting hit him trying to run away. That's really miss, so you're gonna wait a bit. Neutral fun, neutral fun right now. Who knows what can happen in this weather? All that normally happens is drop combos. I'd like to see some one that like Masters River Mist and like has River Mist specific combos or something like that. <laughs> You'd have to learn the timing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, all right. First buff. You also got a subscriber. Not down there you here. go. Now it's sunny. <laughs> well, at no least you didn't get hit by the Nani. <laughs> I'm still waiting for someone to get hit with it, so he can actually say the thing. But no one's gotten hit with it, so he can never say the thing. People have gone too smart. I mean, you can use Nani in the air, so it's pretty... It's yeah, pretty good, can... honestly. Yeah, but I don't think he's ever used it, like, as an anti-air to air block. Man. Oh, nice trap. Forward be so risky against Mind Explosion. Because if Racing doesn't jump, you go nowhere. Whoa. Yeah, J2B combos nicely into another J2B. And then you have to combo that too, but you trip that. You drop the ender right there. Like a right Caught there. him trying to pressure buttons, yeah. Good buffer on that 60. Another drug. <laughs> it's too slow to start up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess it caught it in the startup. Now it's his turn. Oh, too short. That was weird. <laughs> oh, we're more, we're more yeah, it's finally going up. Yeah, even even in spring haze, if you if you're down to orbs against Racing, um, she has a lot of really active moves, so it's, it still feels like you're in pressure. Now he can go one more drug. He's already had two, right? Oh, dust storm for Sand Seal. Oh. oh, he didn't. He didn't believe. <laughs> Come on. Going for the boring three card instead. <laughs> Dude, that would have killed. Like the optimal play right there would have would have been to use Fantastic Killer. There you know. Oh, so close to killing all this. That's just a six eight <laughs> At least that one's safe. That's four. No, it's just six eight. Or three. If it was four, I mean, would have blown up already. He used private square and it didn't kill. So Fantastic Killer would have would have been better right there. Okay, private square. 
Now it's spring haste too. <laughs> I should have done Bria again to green all of his orbs. Okay. Uh, nice pick up. It is um all risk level three though, so. so you're going to take a bit of damage. Saki does no damage now. Look at that whole combo. Did 14, <laughs> one point four k. Oh, you can't hit Sakya. Yeah, now you have to hit racing three times to win the game right here. Oh, like ten. Still, dude, she's, probably she's two a and tank. a half. <laughs> now here, probably only two and a half, because we can't drop combos. Okay. I still did low ass damage. <laughs> nice cross ups. This yeah. Is the race and Oki that we want to see. Crush. Oh, he didn't go for it. Yeah. No more. Oh, he's good. Okay. Doesn't connect. Use vertical time. It's gonna be a slightly problematic to graze away from that. Good, do good job by dodging oh. that though. Oh, 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 oh my god. The 2B is gonna angle itself out six, six, of your day 2B, so. Careful. A back border escape! Oh, rip. that was definitely a mistake. Rip all risk. Alright, Zero Fuse. I'm pretty sure you can Okizimi, me, Sakia. Well, actually, it's gonna be Hamburg's feature in first. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's. I have her as a different alias. Okay, so yeah, we got uh, Ham versus Ichiren. Who you got? I don't know. Maybe Sakia Ichiren. Sakia versus Sane. I Man. think. Huh? I think I've seen. You know, Ham is Ham is pretty good, but I think I've seen her lose a lot more to. Um. Being unable to deal with certain matchups or certain weathers like Sunny. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like she uses the weather well. I feel like she can, if she gets like, if she going, she get, can fall into a pattern of getting too passive sometimes. Like, if she's going to play with the uh, wind tunnel, she'll just like stay back and like not do anything until it's up. And it's like, you know, you can't just concede sometimes. You gotta actually. Oops the whole game even with your assist not up let me see how sunny how sunny sunai feels oh shit sonic oh are you in training mode <laughs> i wanted to see how it felt it just feels very sonic the fuck? <laughs> it's faster That's than funny. tempest <laughs> that fucking funny Oh no, back to the library. Feels bad. I, I'd feel scared if I saw Sunny Sanai though. She's just in there in less than, less than a second. Zoom. Got the anime movement. Alright, gonna be able to fly out of that. Nice damage right there. Kanakaza doing work. Throwing out these packets. Wow. Yeah. Not a no combo there, unfortunately. Nice high jump catch with the J6A. Now it's. Oh, there's the remiss. Didn't combo there, unfortunately. Yeah. Dialy hard. Yeah, I guess Ham is in going to use wind in the Oh, no wind? Yeah, she, she's leveling up the Kanako dash instead. Kanakazo? Not bad. Another uh, attempted hide them catch right there, but Itrim grazed forward. Great. 
heavy fog now. Where are we going to see a phantasmic killer? Maybe time. Maybe they like, oh, nice. Step out of the corner. Block behind. Look up the open. Heavy fog is basically times two damage. Nice hide and catch. Confidence right there. She didn't even have spells to cancel that. Uh, that's the Pachulia the melee attack. No hey, that did a lot of chip damage. Bomb. Yeah, I guess that does a lot of chip, but like, why would you <laughs> right? use meter for chip? <laughs> well... There's no chip kill. In the beginning of the game, I guess. How's that help you? <laughs> Free damage? Cloudy? In Cloudy, it might be like. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's about right. to get crushed though, unfortunately. Might be no. Private player. Yeah. Okay. I think Sanaya could have woke up in neutral. Oh, they got so blue. We got the air tech catch instead. <laughs> that was so mean. <laughs> okay. Oh, here goes our special spell card of the day. I guess he using it to make six sixty safe is valid. Crush. Oh, Cam didn't even get to use the sunny weather. <laughs> Died while he was up. <laughs> Alright, it can be Diamond Dust. Alright, never mind. I don't think a lot of people fish for Diamond Dust. <laughs> I mean, you can just kinda wait like 50 ticks. Okay, knock down here. Ooh, big guy! Too high of love. Call it 60. Most people don't like fishing for. Why is there so much, I guess? I would do it, okay. <laughs> oh! Nice pickup right there. Okay. Oh, this wake up this jump! This is the me, but catches the jump right there. That was pretty bold. He yeah. does not like respecting private square. Some people like that, I guess. It's a moral thing. Hey, I know uh, you're like that. <laughs> I respect. I, I, I Dude, respect. I saw you play against Elos the other day. You you didn't respect any private square. Oh, I mean, I is... saw you go with like Komachi J two A private square. Moving like he did it at a weird time sometimes, you know. I was like, I'm not gonna block if it's not a godlike setup. <laughs> All right, I guess a good setup. <laughs> okay, how is that? It just completely deleted Suwako. Did she just wow. die? She just blinked out of existence. Did you see that? <laughs> Nice J6 fade. Wow, that hit to me, huh? Yeah. Nice. I think it hovers, that's why it can go that low. Okay, so that's a one for him. Trying to take out Ichiran. Well, roll, it, really. it would probably pop it. Um, so it's the, the knives, there's just so many knives, I guess, maybe. And I get, it's, it's unprorated damage, so it does more than it does to like a combo. Okay, that was almost heavy fog. Oh, it's all the orbs. But J2A, an infinite active range. Nice wombo right there. Okizimi. Nice okay, I can go for the right high jump direction there. And having a lot of tr struggles with that jump QB, he's been using. <laughs> oh my god, the bubble pop. <laughs> okay. Oh. I didn't think I don't think he wants that to hit backwards. Yeah. Who's Zoe? Silver Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot who Zoe is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been too long since he played Grandpa, he doesn't understand me anymore. Oh, nice! I was this could be off. Oh, this could be worked as a good um, anti at that point. Oh, I both just waited. Uh... Okay, that's a knockdown. Oh, it's a dragon, girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, that's slowed down. Yeah, it has some pressure. Wait, that's gonna crush no wombo. I get it. It's hard. Wombos are hard. That's a big bubble now. Yeah. 
I, I like the actual tech she's using with the bubble, right? She's using it to hide inside so you can't see the startup of the Kanako dash <laughs> because the sprite is covering her. I, that's the tech! That, I just realized that is actually the tech she's pulling off. <laughs> oh, wait. Alright. Nice. Force the B right there. Mm. Oh, Could have been a block punish right there. Oh, she was in the air, so I guess it doesn't work right there. Oh. Respect, respect. Okay, he's out. Wow, the hit backwards. Oh. oh, this is gonna kill. Is this game point? Set point? No, uh, B2 is down. Cam won the first game. Oh, I see. Is he just taunting? <laughs> oh, I, I think he's trying to call out the conical Rams with the private, with the perfect mid. <laughs> Even though it's completely unnecessary, because you get a better reward by blocking it. But I mean. <laughs> also, they're not. I don't think Kaneko Dash is that good full screen. It has to be mid screen at least. Alright. No. Go. No respect. You're gonna get two points there. Okay. Here you go again. <laughs> wow. She blocked low the entire 6 6 feet. Almost right her entire spirit bar. <laughs> Perfect mate. He's gonna do it. Oh, he had all the opportunity in the world, he didn't go for it! <laughs> I saw it, man! Still not a single success this entire tournament, I feel bad. Rip. Alright, it's gonna be a good Okizami right here. Yeah, it's, um... She has, she has good ideas with the charge 6A, honestly, but every time she does it, she spaces herself out of a B chase. So she ends up whipping um, where she'd probably want to hit the opponent or chase him, at least in the air. Yeah. And it looks so. like uh, each of them is tied up 1 1 right there off of that private square setup. And one, we go one. to game 3. Okay. One sec. Okay. I'll just like, hold it down for a little bit on my own. No worries. Knock down for him right here. Gonna pull up the bubble as Loki. Try to scare him away. Nice 60 feet. It's a knockdown. Ham gonna go uh, try to chase each up to the sky, but each gonna get away. Back to Nuke and go. Okay, good anti hit from Ham. Get anti hit herself into the corner, board escape out. Nice block. Okay. There's a weather here. Actually really good for uh, Ham if he wants to use all three of those three cards. It feels bad when your first three cards of the game are your best. No, it feels good when you get your best spell early, but it feels bad when it's the three cards that you have to burn to use it. We'll see if he goes for it. Okay, there's vertical time. Vertical time waster. Actually, it gets crushed right there. What is this? <laughs> Eastern with the technology. No, oh, Crouch is under the JTA. Good stuff, and she burns all three of those three cards. For that damage, 2.9k, has the corner, 2a, 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 respect, very close to the crush, gets it, but can't kick up quite yet, Eatrin with like 100 HP to his name, gets slammed by the J5a right there, and that's gonna be match point for Ham. <laughs> As the bubble persists in between rounds and explodes on Eatrin to start things off. Eatrin with the pressure right now though, 5c for the push, nice, ATBs all over her. More pressure, and with the respect, oh nice J2A right there, gets herself out of the corner, gets for the corner for herself, doesn't go for any Oki at all though. Probably the Matsu, he's really gonna go for a Phantasmic, I mean, um, no, not Phantasmic Killer, I'm getting the card confused, that was Killing Doll, doesn't get any good Oki from it though. Back to the 
Bait the wave, wrong block, e is in. Nice 6 6 speed from Ham to break that pressure up. Gonna hide behind that bubble, throw up some packets with the Conoco Dash, but accidentally hits herself. e with the aggression. Waiting, she gets a 2B. Okay. Ham gets herself out of that situation. I see the Phantasmic Killer in e hands. Nice 623 from Ham. Gonna hide behind her bubble yet again. Charge 5C connecting. No pickup. Okay, there we go for e -Tirin. One more. Oh, catches her mashing. Can this be enough? Oh, not quite. One more of those. Then we all take. Ham just dashes out of the corner bravely. Another imaginary vertical time. Puts herself in the corner. E train with an opportunity. Nice dash out from Ham. Just gonna reset the situation. The weather is still sprinkle. 163 can kill. She's waiting for the hit come back. Waiting, waiting. Okay, sprinkle ends. Oh, and the 5B is going to take her out. We have ourselves a last round, last match situation here. Eastern has the corner, Ham has the bomb, pops it right there. Gonna clear first base out, going back to neutral now. Gets interrupted from her counter ramp, but 6 6 b instead. That's gonna be a knockdown. Oh, Ham <laughs> almost got a private made it, but went for the 5B instead. That was like the fifth private mate that each one's tried to do. Uh, perfect mate, and it hasn't really done anything. Still. Okay. A bubble still putting in the work. Gets a huge 6-2-3. It's gonna be a very damaging 2.5k in a corner knockdown. Nice block on the cross up by Ichirin who gets out of the corner. Trying to get some momentum back. Gets a knockdown. Can't get any Oki from it. Whether Blue Sky. He's waiting. Goes for the per per perfect mate in neutral. Trying to call out Rash dashes, but it doesn't come. Kanako. Gonna get the knockdown right there. As Ham just has a little bit to go. But Eastern has plenty of pressure cards and Oki cards in his hand. If he can get that knockdown, no combo, 60 block, no punish. I guess gonna be a knockdown for Eastern. He doesn't decide to use perfect mate, sign private square right there. Instead, we're gonna go back to neutral. So on the clock, Ham having the meter to go for a 6-6-B or a Conoco Ram into 3 card. Okay. Ham. Drop combo from Eastern. Back to neutral. And the 6 2 3 B from Ham gonna pop, slam right through the cross up magic, and that's gonna be it. <laughs> Ham is gonna take it 2 1 over Ichirin. What a game. Okay, let's see if I can find the replay. Fourteen pesos. Kanako is from Brazil. So much. Okay, 623 is that big, and Kanako is this big. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's so much bigger. Not even close. <laughs> so much red, yeah. Well, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna get a grand finals rematch here. <laughs> Nothing beats Conoco. <laughs> Grand Finals rematch. Uh, hi Ham versus Zero Fuse. Let's uh, get that started. Whenever they are ready. Grand Finals here. Play is still gone. Hopefully, he comes back to us soon. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay. Getting started now. I see the good looks being thrown out. Some more neutral gods coming out as we're getting right into it. We have our grand finals. It's gonna be Ham coming from losers against Zero Fuse from the winner's side. Just sitting pretty, waiting for a, an opponent, and here he finally is. Let's see if Ham can give Zero Fuse a good rematch, or will she fall again? Okay. Nice 6 6 B from Zero Fuse, and I get not get that knockdown, but the damage is done. Seems like Ham has actually changed up her strategy. After um, using Wind the first time, she's going to go with the Kanako Ram. It's going to be the choice for Grand Finals. Let's see if that 6-3 will do her some work. So far, trying to use it to get it on Zero Fuse. Hasn't connected it with it yet, but gets the knockdown here. Zero Fuse running a deck with complete system cards right now. All buffs and... <laughs> All buffs and card drawings. Let's see uh, if that works. That Zero Fuse gets the first round here. <laughs> so far, Zero Fuse is showing that he doesn't actually need anything besides universal mechanics to beat Ham, but maybe Ham will show him up yet. Okay, we see those snakes coming out from. Uh, Ham right now, those actually will turn if they are above or below the enemy, so... Pretty good zoning tool. Right now, Ham going in, right? That uh, HP lead definitely in her favor. See if she can keep this up. Zero Fuse getting a 6-6-B six, six right here. Gonna not get the knockdown out of the corner situation. 6-6-A six, six, gonna connect for set pressure. Look at this movement from Zero Fuse, but nice jump A from Ham. Has the corner here, doesn't get the air on block rule. Goes for the 6-6-B, six, six, puts herself in the corner. Zero Fuse gonna take advantage of this. Ham tries to get it out, and she does. This guy now, with the weather. Okay, nice use of the snakes. Nice jump 8A, hitting from behind, getting the knockdown. Chasing Zero Fuse in the corner, but decides not to go too hard. Oh, J6A completely dominating against Kanako Dive right there. I guess Kanako Ram isn't all powerful. <laughs> we just saw it lose to J6A from Patchouli. Sprinkle weather right here. 6-6-B interrupting the startup of the Kanako Dash. Get to be a knockdown for Zero Fuse. It's Ham slowly losing her health lead. Kanako comes back, going for it from full screen. Not connecting a little bit too far right there. Oh, big damage from the Sprinkle 236. And the full DLA is going to interrupt that border escape, and Ham is going to go down in the first game. Zero Fuse puts himself up early. On to game number two. Jump 8A coming out. Not gonna get the full combo, but Ham has the corner going for 6-6-C. Six, six, no punish! Zero Fuse actually went for the 2-C, which was the mistake right there, as Ham immediately grazed and gets her pressure back. But the jump back J2C is on wake-up. Gonna give Zero Fuse the momentum now. He gets the knockdown to 2.7k damage. That's a lot for just a B and B. Okay. Zero Fuse controlling that space right there, locking Ham down. He still has the corner to fight. Okay, that's a big counter hit. 3.4k! <laughs> Yo! Oh my gosh. His health just got deleted. Huge rut. 623 from Ham right there. It's not quite over yet, but another one of those might just end it. Oh, nice use of the 236 win call. Okay. Have this now. 66 b whiff. No punish. Kind of go Ram gonna whiff right there. Zero Fuse gonna have some momentum. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take it to the sky, gets the J5A, has the Oki here, catches Zero Fuse, back dashing into the corner, not quite! He has like 1 HP, blocks the Kanako Ram, Zero Fuse gonna chance to punish, he's gonna level up some more stuff, and as we go back to one neutral situation, that will decide everything! Zero Fuse, going for the full dial right there, this time Ham respecting. Oh, and the snakes are going to take it! Okay. Ham with some pressure to start the round. Zero Fuse respecting the ancient metal ring. Actually gets mixed up right there for the charge 6A. Ham with some pressure. Let Zero Fuse escape to the corners though. Nice 
block. Okay, Mirby is catching that dash, getting a knockdown here. Ham escaping to the sky. Trying to get that Kanako dash up. You know it's coming. <laughs> the refuse, though. Getting some good pressure in regardless. Cloudy weather now. There it is. Nice block. Able to block because of the land cancel. The is very good at doing that. J6A. Okay, full conversion. And a knockdown. 6A catching that wake up high jump but can't get the conversion. Zero Fuse bouncing a little bit too far. Crush here. Knockdown. Zero Fuse. Okay, I'm gonna go for the aggressive option right here. Go right in there. But the J6A gonna knock her down. Sunny weather for uh, those who are unused to Sana, it actually increases her movement speed by like two times. So as you can see that Ham is just flying across the screen right now. Oh, but the 623 Four. actually messes up her um, movement right there. Um, right now it's 0 1. 0 is winning. Oh, okay. Game number 10. Last time it definitely looked like 0 Fuse was a bit more used to dealing with uh, Sane. But now Ham is using. Dash, right? It's making a huge difference right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Now she's tied it up. She didn't win a single game in Winter's Finals, but now it's 1-1. And now we are game three. <laughs> Hammond chat is... Oh, well. Now we got more Bullet Wars starting in neutral. Yeah, but now Ham has a way to just cancel out all bullet wars if you feel yeah, like I, it. I'm not, is that is that um is that snake attack non interactive bullet or something? It's it's not that it doesn't interact, it just hits at a very hard to beat angle because it goes directly above or directly below you at ninety degrees, so Oh I see. Not a lot of characters have bullets that go ninety degrees. Yeah, it's also pretty fast not if you it. Maybe it works as a better sniper than a five C bullet. Oh, and almost got, almost had the great attack there. Ouch, I got maybe a 1.9. Yeah, she, she can kind of just shoot 2 2 B from from even any angle because it's going to turn around exactly where the opponent is. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, B. Wow. Still enough to run it. Wombo. Oh. oh, it was a reset. I mean that drop combo was reset anyway. Oh, stick fake was. Yeah, we got the Gramble mixed up right here. And that's gonna KO. No, it was way too late for trying to go for a diagonal right there. <laughs> you don't even have momentum right there. The Tilly was just going to react in 5 feet. Ooh, there we go. Uh, oh, very painful, away. uncombo panic with Ash. Just wait till it gets some levels on it. It'll get scarier and scarier as the match continues. What's up on the corner? Brush. Nah, brush. No, it probably zero fuse is worth nightmare because all he has is a uh, systems. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't really care because he has nothing important to lose. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's invincible. Yeah, he went for the, for the fake bail. Now he's leveling up everything. Whoa, oh no! He's got the rainbow! Oh my god! <laughs> that was really cool, but it didn't do anything. I uh, did a bit of some damage. <laughs> I mean, I guess swagging is a mental damage, right? <laughs> Heavy fog now. It could last a bit more, but he didn't have the other drop, so. That's Nothing he could do. So Zero has like max stats right now. It's like fast area dash. Surprised he's and like all that defense. That counter hit counter go dash only did 14, 1 4 damage. That's barely anything. Yeah, still would have done about 2k if he comboed it, but fortunately, no wombo there. I see. So Zero Fuse is going from long end. Does he have level 4? Oh no, he doesn't have level 4 though. Probably level 3. Level max. I didn't know you could... What, what, what did she... Oh no, that's Dull, okay. Yeah. Oh, Spring A is a nice tactic using the 3A. Drain all the orbs. I don't think this drop does anything here, does it? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It resets to level 1, so that's basically a dead card. 
So it does something when you're already invincible, but not after it's done. Yeah, that's fine. Pressure? Definitely fast kill you right now. And go for another... Another Aya win. An Aya, another fan. It's gonna make her even faster. Yeah, that air dash disc is actually really good. It lets Patchy do some pressure that she couldn't perform. Nice dash. Oh, it's not. I'm gonna really aim that disc to stay the right way. Ooh, yeah. backwards pressure! That flight is getting pretty fast. 63. Watch yourself. Okay. This is a crucial get round right here. Winner goes to gets the lead. It really changed the set if uh, Cam takes the lead here. You know. Might force Zero Fuse to change cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stop messing around with this all system deck. Ooh, big rush. Knock him down. Okay, geez. Not a lot. Confirm. Alright. I'm not gonna get Link into 2 to b Um. I guess we can tell and say the HP is leveled because Dole's probably gonna. Cam with the lead for now, but. Their fuse probably has like twice the HP on his health oh, bar. Oh no! Oh yeah, he spaced that! Five. Yeah, for the plus frames. <laughs> Cars 3 low key can be very plus. Wow, now the HP is leveled up. Oh! Oh, we got items up there! 2.3. <laughs> that, that little HP, that actually does quite a bit, man. Yeah, man, he has like twice as much HP as he looks like. He's got the Guilty Gear guts going on, where you just don't die. <laughs> You're ever exert. <laughs> so... Ham definitely needs at least two hits, probably, to end the game. Oh... <laughs> Not that time. Gonna oh. chase. I'm gonna be able to finish the combo right there, but that JDA is gonna tip for so well. Nice block on those cross ups, but gets hit by the double right here. That's gonna catch. Time and dust though. Jeez, a lot of respect. Back to neutral. One last opportunity. Oh, the snakes! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, she's still alive! Those defense buffs coming in so clutch. Back dash is the fireball. Oh, alright. This is the kind of cool that moment it is! From downtown! <laughs> <laughs> so it's 2-0. Two, 2-1. Two one. Two zero. Two one. That was all the way from Chile. <laughs> that 6 2 three from, was from Chile. <laughs> that might be another set out. Get high jump catch. Okay. Wow, Ham using fans? They're both using fans. Ham has two, Mirakus has four. How are you gonna complain about Sunny and still use fans? <laughs> I feel like uh, Ham should well, like. Guess... No, Mirakus yeah, should bring a. Like, um, it's the uh, control rod, yeah. Maybe. Because if he's buffing his defense, it uh, counteracts the negative effect of the control rod, so he gets all the damage without any of the side effects. I think it would do better than the Maybe what, if you have the Ibuki gourds. Yeah, I don't I don't understand the Ibuki gourds either. Oh well. I mean, you it lets you run through your deck faster, but I mean, that's not really useful most of the time. Yeah, Pachuli earns meter pretty fast for you, know, so she doesn't have to go at you to do meter. Yeah, I understand if you're like playing air like Oku, where getting two cards actually makes a huge difference. Well, if you're playing Patchouli, you get cards like nothing. Wow, your view is actually letting Ham run it all the way back. This is getting really close. Oh. Oh, that's the same there. It's gonna come down to one hit. Snakes. Oh, the snakes. Forcing the move right there. Ooh, nice so Sonic Kazo. Now you know why I prefer the skill card of the one. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely made the difference here. The Airfuse does not have the answer to uh, Conoco dashes. 
And this is like reset point right now. Oh, good day to say catch. And that's gonna be a wombo. Yeah, it is. Alright, so it's kinda kill dash, but it's pretty safe at that distance. Unfortunately, he tried moving and got hit by the big side ray. Now, it might be no one else the situation right there. He got safe as well. 6 b gonna trade with the day 6 b Pretty fine for Kanai at that point. Still pretty even at close. It has an HP. Yeah. No combo there either. I could have been that combo. Oh. Right away. It's gonna be funny. Knock him down. Oh, cross ups. Cross ups. Again. Nice pair. Wow, the wake up mash. <laughs> you just come out swinging. Oh. Oh, the J5C is gonna home. <laughs> they reach everywhere. Yeah, these little fireballs are going home on you. Alright. Probably didn't need to... Four border for At least he didn't get hit by it. Okay, Wow. Snakes. snakes doing job on the work right here. Try to chase him running out of the corner. That J-Fi is gonna whip. I like the use of the Thanae Pogo by uh, Ham. <laughs> the combo got it. Only a combo is better. Oh, there it is. Another Kanakazo. Waiting for it to come back. I feel like Zerbi has got to be super aware of her Kanako gauge. That's oh, hurt. break it for him. Domage. I and jump on way from right there. No, Kazimi. One Kanako will win. That should have been a whip punish, but they can make you be hit right there. Alright, we're gonna see if Zero View is gonna make it back, but he decides to level up his his card. Cool, the snakes! Oh, They're so snakes. good! Great land cancel 5C by him, and that's a reset! We got our reset, guys. Alright, just end our tournament, ham. Would this be the first time Ham wins Soka Saturday? It would actually. Wow. All of SA has to win one Soka Saturday. Even Sanae could do it, man. This would probably be the the third time somebody wins in Sanae. Okay. Typhoon game? We'll just gonna take this opportunity to just level stuff. Oh, is your few switching to an actual deck? I just realized. <laughs> He's got man. real meter. Let's see if it makes a difference. Alright. Let's get somewhat real pressure, I guess, now. Wow. <laughs> Low high crush. Another wombo. Oh, that, that was about to be the, the game, honestly. Missed his Okizimi right there. Alright. For a Masharino on wake up. Okay. Box. Funny. And here comes the man. Satellite Sun Flower. Ooh! Damn it. He's doing that. Put the one's gonna smack him out of the air right there. Infinite vertical range right on that move. Gonna go for the I Rock. Fly J by way. Way still has his, still has Ham in the corner. Really gotta keep the momentum right here. Even though Patchouli is kind of slow. I'm pretty sure he leveled up the fan for the point. Nice land cancel J5C. Still in there. Okay, work the, the J6A. He's gonna get slightly punished. Back to neutral. Nice space out in two way. Hit. Okay. Is it time for Ham to make a comeback? Not over yet. What's this gonna Aurora? What's this Aurora gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna be the Aurora at the end of the game. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get with punish. I was expecting something wild, but <laughs> didn't really matter it's at the end. Type one. <laughs> Ham would have been over. Would have been in Sandwell's losing to Aurora Food. Ooh, 
just super bad luck doing work right there. Or is that just a normal bad luck? Yeah, it's straight to C is... I mean, I don't know. It's not... It's trying to use it as Oki's enemy, but it's just letting Zero Fuse jump out. Yeah, it's, it's you have to space it really well, I think. Because where Sané comes down is... It really will change, depending on how far the roll is, like... Yeah, the point is also, you know, if you are going to let him jump, you have to have successful attempts at catching their, their flight or high jump, so... But there hasn't been much of that, honestly, so... Why did that 2 6 disappear immediately? I wonder. Okay, nice. Neutral from uh, Ham right now. Right, she's doing block. Yeah, so now she's got that walk speed right now. I feel like she moves faster walking than Patchouli does dashing. Wait, how, what's the score right now? 0-0, zero, zero. It's 1-0, zero views up. Oh. Ooh, you're on the really quick, bro. Pressure attempt right there, didn't get it. Had to knock down. Crush? That's not quite. I know. I'm gonna crush. Get the two piece. She had no spirit. Oh, has the two card though, so I'm just gonna wanna have to be careful a bit. Doesn't do a lot of damage honestly, so I usually don't pay attention to it, but tries to go for the flight reset back at neutral. Oh, he's in. Uh, I don't think that was punishable. Right here, zero view is in control. Yo, those deep, those snakes are still doing so much work right now. Dang, Ham just oh, blocking all of those. Oh, not combo. Oh, uh, I was. If the six six C was there, she actually would have won the game. Oh, she put herself in the corner. This is super scary. Oh no, uh, that's it. She didn't believe in the air tech catch. She just let him tech button. Seems like Zero Fuse yeah, is a P226. Gonna catch the Wombo, but still has the momentum. Puts him, puts her full screen now. Block. Yeah. Once again, you don't need to pull a board or shit like that. Just gotta punish. Just don't. Ooh. You do that a lot with Hangeki. Oh my god, that was about to be diamondless. That's a block. Seems like Zero wow. Fuse is basically completely adapted to the Conoco Dush playstyle, and uh, maybe yeah, him's gonna have to go back to win. Kind of time. But he also has a lot more solid Okizeme on um, Sanai. That's can, chase, can, can chase quite a lot better as well, even though for a slow character like that. Um, Wait, why they. That's only 2 0. Yeah. <laughs> That's only 2 0, guys. <laughs> But still one more, still at least, at least one more game. <laughs> Alright, I think Ham gave up. Did she forfeit? I'm not going to win, why bother? That's not good sportsmanship. <laughs> at least play it out. That's the esports mindset. <laughs> now nah, esports would always play it out. That's like if I said, if I said, why wouldn't I join a soccer tournament if I'm gonna win them? <laughs> so I should just join all of them. Yeah, I guess she's not joining. So I guess uh, we're going to end on that note. Unfortunate. Yeah. But I mean, it happens. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like there's a slight rule about this, isn't there? I don't know. I mean, not really. But I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah. We and actually again, ran all of Sokuset before the beginner tournament ended. We started, two, we started three the hours hell? after them, and they're still going. We finished the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds terrible. And I felt like this tournament was slow, too. Yeah, we had a lot of neutral heavy games. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like, I'll just... 
about. Unless Ham decides to give us a third game, at least. I think that might be the end. Is Ham a girl? Yes. So, oh, well, people are trying to give Ham their energy so that she plays it out, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Will she do it? Alright, how are we gonna be? He hasn't Sit? said anything. Okay, good games, everyone. Um. Well, bummer ending, I guess. But yeah, I started, uh, beginner tournament started three hours ago at, uh, six. Oh, four hours ago at six. And then I waited two hours to start Sophie said. No, they started at five. Yeah, they started at five. Yeah, three hours ago. Well, or something like that. It, it, whatever. It's just. This, yeah, this, this, this has been a really long right, event. Uh, I mean, I guess they had a lot more people, but I mean, this just didn't. It wasn't very uh, smooth. Bring back Aligari. Aligari, fastest tournament organizer. Aligari would finish a Soku Sat in one hour. <laughs> Aligari is the TO god. Oh god, man. Well, I guess if we're done, I might as well give the unveil for the Border of Duel. Me? Yeah, I got it. The Border of Duel. I got the match. I got the poster. We're, we're, we're ready to unveil, unveil who's going to play Border of Duel. Alright. Okay. It's gonna be Blaze Dragon versus someone, right? No. Wait, who did you say? Blaze Dragon versus who? Someone. Someone. Who? You already played in Border Duel. You want to play again? Well, this is going to give a good exhibition. Okay, who would you want to play? Anyone. Anyone. Okay, so let's see here. Let me get let me get the image set up. I kind of guess it was Sakura Lover with Siren, but I don't know. Or just a guess. Nobody told <laughs> Iron me. Iron versus Sakura Lover to revenge. Well, you know the matchup, right? It's going yeah, to be Vermilia um, versus Sakura. Vermilia versus Sakura. Yep. Who would you? What Romilia and Saki would you want to see, though? Um, Nia versus um, some Japanese Saki player. <laughs> it's always gonna be the Japanese players, huh? What about I mean, in our own server, man? Okay, Bivago versus somebody. Bivago um, doesn't play. She doesn't play Sakuya or or Romilia. You don't have any yeah, hope Bivago for it. can probably pick up Saki in one day. It's fine. Really. <laughs> okay, I gotta put um, the image on the screen right here. Okay, okay, okay. I got the image up. Time to unveil. So, okay, so the next border of duel will be will be. Okay, get this, get this. Wait, wait, I'm not ready yet. I have to fix this. <laughs> I have to fix a lot of things. <laughs>
Border duel. Okay, okay. Border duel. Border duel is gonna be. It's gonna be. Lottie Master versus Ichirin. That is. Who versus who? Lottie Master versus Ichirin. That is a border of duel coming up. Who are you got? Who are you got in Lottie Master versus Ichirin? Um. I don't know, I haven't placed Lottie in a long time. You know, Lottie is on like a hidden mission to beat you or something like that. That's what he's been saying. So oh, he... well, that's not gonna happen, so. <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> but yeah, that's Lottie Master has been on that grind. You know, Ichirin's always been there. Been present, Soku Saturday champions. Both of these players, Soku Saturday champions, is gonna be a very good set. It'd be pretty wild having uh, an actual European top player, honestly. Ionator is close to there, but it has to be someone that's like Irox level in Europe, I guess. I mean, maybe it'll be Lottie Master, you know? No, we never know. But yeah, Lottie versus Ichirin going to be coming next Saturday on the 12th. The commentary this time will be provided by Fish Shaped Fish and Iron. So yeah, hope you show up to that one. It's gonna be good. Okay, um, anything you want to say before we head out? I think that's about it for us. Light is going to beat me in five years, maybe. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Blaze <laughs> still wants more challengers, so... Uh, you gotta... You gotta... He says grind, so you get better. Or something. Okay, well, yep, yeah, that's it from us at Hisoten. We're going to, uh, I guess... I might as well toss you over to the other beginner tournament that's just ending right now. If I can get a host there. They're in, like, the last game of Grand Finals, so... It's between, uh, Corneas and, uh, Ruby. So, yeah, show them a little love. Tell them that the board of duel is Lighted Master versus Ichiren, and, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna give them a raid. Can we ask JP people to be on VOD? The heck? Can we? I don't know. I don't know. That would be up to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe in a future board of duel. But our timing yeah, would be when so you have weird, the time. because, like, when you... <laughs> we're 2 a.m. <laughs> when it's, like, 2 p.m. for them, so... But yeah, let's give them a Soku Sad welcome. I'm gonna raid. Raid message, uh, raid message Soku Squad. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and a uh, good night.